playlist. So if you are interested, you can watch them. So that is about the video. I think uh, in the last class, uh, we have uh, talked about this basic uh, the questions, right? So the addition of vectors, we have done it. And you have told me the answer also. And also, we have performed the dot product. I guess we go, you got an answer of 32. And the cross product was performed minus 3, 6, and minus 3 were your, was your answer. Right. So uh, in today's session, we'll solve even some more problems so that we can uh, understand uh, the vector algebra more. Instead of talking about vector algebra, I thought of giving you some questions and uh, try to revise your concepts. Okay, so mere problem solve jaise ko the end time make slowly concepts and you can uh, get them back. You can refresh your concepts. So here is your next question. Okay, and uh, please don't post the answers in the comments. Okay, what I will do is I'll give you a link where you can post your answers. Okay, so because. Uh, I'm unable to track the people ever answer just naru yavaru kali ga kuchun naru i was unable to track so i thought of uh, following this procedure though it is an elaborative kind of procedure i basically don't have any choice because uh, we have a free version of google meet and that is what we can afford right now and in the free version uh, you cannot post the polls directly and this is how we have to do it. So I guess uh, you have the question now. I am posting the link where you have to answer in the in the comments. So that is a Google form, right? You can open the Google form. I hope that it is visible for everyone. You can open the Google form. And one second. Uh, and one second, I think I have to activate the form. Yeah. So I think now you can actually send your answers. So uh, you can click on the link, right? The form will open, and you just choose your option between A, B, C, and D. OK? Uh, if anyone is having any issue while posting the answer, please inform to me so that I can, I can uh, look into those issues. Is the form accessible? I think so. A few people are a few people have started answering, I guess. But I guess you are slow. Oh, only Ten responses, twelve. There are around uh, eighty students here. Okay, only twenty people are active. I guess. Come on, it is not a difficult question, then. The question is really, really simple. I can tell you that you don't even have to put a pen or a paper. This can pen be to get solve jail and answer easy question. All right. I'll be soon stopping the sheet. Conjable sheet off chases the nana. If I if I stop the sheet, then you can no longer answer the question. Your question answer jale do ante. It simply indicates that mere do Google Meet on jaise si vera panjais kunte naran mere na udde sante. So that is what I will feel. Okay, because in the simple question answer jale dan ki meke band lonta hai na naanko thale do. If if you have uh, any problem regarding the link, I am posting the link again. Okay. So in the time ante disko do. 
ఇఫ్ యూ ఫీల్ లైక్ సార్ లింక్ ఓపెన్ అవ్వట్లేదు డేటా సరిగ్గా లేదు అంటే యూ కెన్ లాగ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద గూగుల్ మీట్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ ఆన్సర్ ఇట్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ అగైన్ లాగ్ ఇన్ బ్యాక్ టు ద గూగుల్ మీట్ బట్ ఐ థింక్ అంత నెసెసిటీ ఉండదు బికాస్ ద ఫామ్ డజంట్ హ్యావ్ సో మచ్ ఆఫ్ డేటా రైట్ ఎనీవేస్ ఐ సీ దట్ దెర్ ఆర్ ఫార్టీ రెస్పాన్సెస్ ఫార్టీ ఓకే దెర్ ఆర్ ఫిఫ్టీ టూ రెస్పాన్సెస్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ బ్యాచ్ ఫిఫ్టీ త్రీ అండ్ కౌంటింగ్ ఓకే ఫైన్ ఐ థింక్ దాట్ వాజ్ ఎనఫ్ టైమ్ ఫర్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఓకే ఎందుకంటే ఎక్కువ టైం ఇస్తే కూడా ఈ క్వశ్చన్కే అవమానం చేసినట్టు సో సో ఐఎమ్ స్టాపింగ్ ద రెస్పాన్సెస్ రైట్ సో ద స్టూడెంట్స్ కెన్ స్టాప్ గివింగ్ దర్ రెస్పాన్సెస్ హూ ఎవర్ హ్యావెంట్ గివెన్ దర్ రెస్పాన్స్ ఐ విల్ కౌంట్ దెమ్ యాజ్ యాబ్సెంట్ ఫర్ దిస్ క్వశ్చన్ ఓకే రైట్ సో ద ఆన్సర్స్ ఈజ్ స్టాప్ ఓకే సో ఐ హ్యావ్ స్టాప్ ద ఆన్సరింగ్ సో ఇంకెవరికి ఆన్సర్ టైప్ చేసిన వెళ్ళందన్న గూగుల్ ఫామ్ పని చేయదు సో పని చేయకపోతే వర్రీ అవ్వద్దు ఎందుకు పని చేయట్లేదు అంటే నేను ఆపిసాను కాబట్టి పని చేయట్లేదు ఓకే సో మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ హ్యావ్ ఆన్సర్డ్ ఇట్ కరెక్ట్లీ ఓకే ఐ థింక్ ఓన్లీ ఫ్యూ పీపుల్ మై హ్యావ్ మేడ్ ఎ మిస్టేక్ బట్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ వాట్ ద ఆన్సర్ ఈజ్ ఏ జీరో అండ్ అఫ్ కోర్స్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు ఫైండ్ యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ టూ వెక్టర్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ప్రొసీజర్ so you first you have to take the dot product then you have to divide them by the magnitudes of the vectors and you take cos inverse you get the angle but in fact you don't have to do anything here and the jails in panagoda led and the two same vectors ga but asal penna kuda pettukunte direct ga cheppochu the angle is zero okay so this is a very simple question but to just to refresh you that how do you find angles and all but let me go to the next question uh, this question uh, is definitely uh a kind of uh not so much challenging but it's an interesting question so uh, i'll be giving you a form now nen meeku form isthanu aa form ni answer chedru gani appude comment lo type cheyaledu nanu so let me let me copy the link all right Uh, this part is excruciating. So, meanwhile, you just see the question. Okay. So, I got a vector. So, now I... Oh, I think... Uh, right. I can give you... So, this is a uh, slide... See, right? Uh, so, in this, this is your link. i have posted the link nana so now you can just open your comments you can open your comments and uh, you can simply post your answer so the question asks how many vectors are there okay na ikkada kanipistunna vaithe aidu okay so definitely 5 kante ekku raayakoddu akka number so your answer should be less than 5 or equal to 5 right so please uh, post your answers all right so i think there are around uh, 52 responses or so till now that's basically a very simple question uh so let me okay fine uh, 
so let me stop uh, giving the so accepting responses so let me stop accepting responses okay so i think everyone i hope everyone has submitted the response i think i see around 62 response 63 responses okay fine that is almost a good count okay right so i'm closing it so this is your final uh, call for your answer okay thank you yeah 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 sure okay so what is answer ent the answer end and a yeah two so there are only two vectors usually a vector two vectors are said to be equal if they both have same magnitude and direction what i can see is all these three vectors are basically one vector ivanni okate endukante anni same direction lo unnai and same magnitude lo unnai and if i look at these two they are also in the same direction and of same magnitude so the answer is basically two okay so that is a simple question maybe but just to uh, refresh your concept about vectors i have chosen this question so let me uh, let me choose a different question now okay which is of course the extension of this question uh okay so if forms i will select it and i am taking some time so please don't mind about it so right so let me first of all pose the next question so this is the question now so the google form uh, sheet is also posted so of course it's also like the same one ippudu kuda entante any vectors unnai ani adugutunna okay so you just have to post it here is your uh, google form sheet in the comments right so let me let me share the answer with you still few people are uh, typing the answer is it because ante valaku net access slow ga undo lekapothe endi i don't understand okay anyways uh, the answer is 5 uh, yes it's five so you can see that ikkada rendu vectors even though they are in same direction basically they are of different magnitude so they are not same vectors avaru rendu same an anukodu and you can see these two vectors are of same magnitudes right but they are in different directions these two vectors are of same magnitude but in different directions 
so basically there are a total of five vectors okay so uh, here is the next question uh, so here you have to uh, express uh, the vector u bar in terms of a bar b bar and c bar okay so try to express it meanwhile i'll post the link uh, for submitting your answers right i have posted the link if you have the answer you can post the answer all right so i can see now the responses uh, are going bit slow huh? uh, around 45 students have answered okay so i'm looking for more answers there are around 90 students here i can see okay almost 90 so is it a difficult question or what So out of the responses, I can see that around 10% uh, of the students think it's A and 25% uh, thinks it's B and 28% thinks it's C and 33% thinks it's D. Hmm? So that is interesting. It's very, very uniformly distributed almost. Okay then, so so I'll try to give you the answer now. So I'm stopping uh, the access of your uh, Google form. So if anyone is trying to submit, this is the last call. All right, it's off now. You no longer can submit. Okay, so. Uh, so what is the answer anyone d yes the answer is d so learn to problems key the most common method which i follow there can be many ways you can follow but i use this uh, uh, summation of all vectors okay so you, you choose a path, say for example, I will be traveling in this path. So you can see the arrow is in the in the path which I am traveling. 
So in this path, the vector is u bar. And now I have chosen this direction. And of course, the c bar is also in the same direction. So I'll choose the same positive. And then I'll go in this path. OK. So I can see b bar is also in the same direction. And then I choose this path again. OK. So and then I can just start I can just start I know. So for, I started from the uh, I can say this is the tail of the vector, right? I went to the head of the vector, and again I returned to the tail tail itself, right? So it could go to end and the other direction on the gravity. So this whole thing should be equal to zero. So this is uh, this is the loss I think uh, you have studied in your vector algebra probably. And a pair of chara then ki any name is there? Yes, you can use uh, you can say it is a law of polygons and all. Right, so from here you can always say the resultant. Okay, so in the same way you usually have this kind of things a lot. Okay, say there are two points, point one and point two. Okay, and if the point one position vector is r one bar and point two position vector is r two bar, usually we have to write what is a position vector from second point to first point. Okay, so what is a position vector from second point to first point in demo today? It is r one. R1 minus R2 bar. Okay. So how do you get this? And you can always, if you remember, if you know the answer, then it is well and good. But if you don't know it, say, for example, let us say this vector is A bar. And you can use the same polygon law again. Okay. So you start in this path and you go like this and you go return back. Okay. So you direction of wealth. So you can see A bar. Because now, no value path direction, no vector opposite direction on the gravity. You write minus of R1 bar plus r2 bar is totally equal to 0. So then you can write a bar is nothing but from here it is r1 bar minus r2 bar. Right? So that is what you said. So the inne is nothing but r1 bar minus r2 bar. So this is most commonly used in electrostatics or magnetostatics where we are usually source equivalent to the field point. So that is how we usually do it. OK? So this is the Teletum Gosam problem solve in channel. Okay. And I hope uh, you can refresh that memory. So uh, here is another question. Maybe I'll not put the forms because it's taking a lot of time. So maybe we'll have a form again, once again, uh, in the coming questions. But right now, here is a question. So find the uh, values of alpha and beta. And given a bar and b bar is a vector. Okay, and here is the equation of vectors. So can you tell me what is an answer? You can post it in the comments. You can post the answer in the comments or you can unmute and tell me the answer. Option B. Okay. Oh, so someone says it's option A and there is a B. Okay. I'll see the comments. What is the flow? So, B type just narrow. Okay, we'll see what is the answer. So, the answer is B, it's not A. So, you have to take common nana. Okay, so you could a, a bar and a vector common daily, b bar and a vector common daily. This day you get alpha minus beta minus 1 in 1 as one common and you get 2 alpha plus 4 as another one. So, so the concept is simple. Whenever you say a, tot a vector is equal to 0, then it's each individual component should e be equal to 0. So, you could a vector motham 0 and none one day. A vector becomes 0 when it's because a bar vector is not 0, b bar vector is not 0 non-zero vectors. So the scalars that are multiplying should become equal to zero. So from here you can get, so from here you can say alpha is equal to minus two from this equation. And from this equation, you get alpha is equal to minus three. I mean, beta is equal to minus three. And to give you an example, so usually we see these kind of things in our uh, calculations. So sometimes you have vectors like this, x a x cap, y minus two a y cap, four z minus a z cap is equal to zero. If I say a complete vector is equal to zero, okay, vector in a zero equate just now, that becomes zero only when the each individual components become to zero. 
that means if this has to happen then x should be equal to 0 y should be equal to 2 and z should be equal to 4 ivanni jaragal okay it is not like ee madhyalo r ga adide okay x z x is 0 or y is y equal to 2 or z equal to 4 then uh, this vector will be equal to 0 ante kaadu ee madhyalo unnadi it is end okay so x should be equal to 0 and y should also be equal to 2 and z should also be equal to 4 then only the whole vector goes to 0 so this is important because we have this kind of situations like uh, gradient of electric field goes to zero and then we have to equate the each individual component e to zero when you say gradient of electric field vector goes means laplacian not the gradient laplacian vector laplacian of electric field goes to zero then we actually take the laplacian of a x component and equate it to zero and we take the laplacian of y component and equate it to zero we take the laplacian of uh, z component and equate it to zero we do this only because whenever it completely a vector goes to zero then each individual component goes to zero and then we solve the corresponding differential equations to get the values of electric fields and all so that is why this example is relevant for you to recognize those equations when we when we try to uh, address the wave propagation first unit and the second unit right so i hope uh, uh, that jogs your memory so this is a very very interesting question and uh, this is very useful in uh, wave propagation reflection and refraction so of course here i'm not talking about any wave you can see that there is a vector ki bar it is making some angle theta i okay and there is a vector uh, another vector kr bar it is making an angle theta i and there is some vector kt bar and it is making an angle theta t and all these vectors are basically in xz plane and the y axis is coming out of your board okay so if you imagine that if you because you are seeing from your mobile phone or you are seeing on the laptop screen you can imagine that the y axis is coming out of your uh, uh, laptop or it is coming out of your mobile phone okay and it is perpendicular to the screen which you are seeing right so the question is what is the angle made by ki bar vector and the ki bar in a vector x axis to nth angle jastundi y axis to nth angle jastundi z axis to nth angle jastundi so don't type the answer in the comments uh, i want to know uh, how you are thinking regarding this question so let me create a google form for it i'll post the link in few minutes but uh, first of all try to make your mind uh, for the answer all right so i have a link to share with you so that you can post your answers so this is slide 7 basically and here is your link i posted the link in the comments nana so please uh, oh, one second i think uh, i have forgotten to give another option okay you can answer now one second i think in the other one yeah right i posted the link in both the uh, it's a uh, so students can submit the answer now yeah i can see around 26 responses and i can see there are mixed responses here uh, 
I think few people always like the option of none of the above. Huh? So none of the above can be the asthmaan or the battle and visavi. So don't follow the same principle in gate or uh, competitive exams. That is not always good. Usually none of the above. Sometimes the question paper setter might give it to you just to confuse you. Okay. Or maybe that was the right answer. Who knows? Yeah, they are still submitting the answers. Hmm. Basically, I think uh, this process itself is taking a lot of time, eh? or else we can complete the class even faster. From the next class onwards, what I will do is I will put a timer in the slide also. Okay. So for every question, you will be given like around two minutes. So once the timer is off, I will stop the accepting the responses. Then you will be fast probably, so that we can save some time also. Okay. Anyways, I can see around sixty-six, sixty-seven responses. Still increasing. Okay. So. So the responses are quite divided here. Interestingly, the people who have chosen option D are not there at all. Okay, sorry, students. I think I've lost the internet and reconnected again. Right. So, so I can see that uh, from the sheet, uh, uh, twelve around twelve percent of the students. Am I audible? Am I audible? Right. And the presentation is visible. Can someone respond? Okay. Right. Thank you. So from the responses which I have received, I see that twelve uh, percent of the students thinks it's option A, 
and uh, i think 25% of the students think it is b and 40% of the students thinks it's c and there are 21% of students who thinks it's none of the above okay so in options which is are none of the above definitely better untaru ani oka 21% students anukuntunnaru so because majority says it's c let me reveal you the answer but of course it's a okay so ikkada answer ento nenu rayaledu but i'll try to derive what is the answer okay so first of all angle with x axis so i can see here is my x axis okay maybe i'll use a different color so here is my x axis right so x axis tho chese angle anta an adiginappudu because this is the vector now okay so i can see that this this might be the angle idina angle emo nu anukochu kaani adi angle theesukokoddu adi theesukunni andaru em chesarante because this is 90 degrees they added 90 plus theta and you said it is uh, this one ఓకే బట్ మీరు అక్కడ చేసిన మిస్టేక్ ఏంటి అంటే యూ కెన్ సి వన్ వెక్టర్ ఇస్ లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ ద అదర్ వెక్టర్ ఇస్ లైక్ దిస్ ఓకే సో టూ వెక్టర్స్ మధ్య యాంగిల్ డిఫైన్ చేసేటప్పుడు ఎట్లా డిఫైన్ చేస్తామంటే ఏదర్ సో ద యాంగిల్ ఇస్ డిఫైన్డ్ ఇన్ సచ్ ఎ వే దట్ బికాస్ యూజువల్లీ యాంగిల్ ఇస్ డిఫైన్డ్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ కాస్ ఆఫ్ కాస్ ఆఫ్ తీటా ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఏ బార్ డాట్ బి బార్ డివైడెడ్ బై మార్జులస్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బార్ అండ్ మార్జులస్ ఆఫ్ బి బార్ సో ఇక్కడి నుంచే యాంగిల్స్ డిఫైన్ చేస్తాం కాబట్టి సో వెన్ యూ డిఫైన్ యాంగిల్స్ బిట్వీన్ టూ వెక్టర్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దాట్ యూ షుడ్ డిఫైన్ యాంగిల్స్ ఏదర్ బిట్వీన్ ద టేల్స్ ఆఫ్ ద వెక్టర్స్ ఆర్ యువర్ వెక్టర్ షుడ్ బి ఆర్ యూ కెన్ డిఫైన్ అన్ యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ ద హెడ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద వెక్టర్ ఆస్ థీట అంతేగాని ఇఫ్ వన్ వెక్టర్ వాజ్ లైక్ దిస్ అంటే వన్ వెక్టర్ ఏంటి అంటే టేల్ ఇక్కడ ఉంది హెడ్ ఇది అనుకోండి బట్ ద అదర్ వెక్టర్ ఇస్ కమింగ్ ఇన్ టు దిస్ పాయింట్ now say for example if this angle is theta then if you ask me what is the angle between these two vectors then it is not theta nanna then you have to extend this vector because vector ikkada undanna ide vector ni extend chesi ikkada draw cheskunna okate so now because ee point nunchi rendu vectors bayitku velthunattu unnai kabatti so now this is your actual angle that is 180 minus theta okay so this is the most common mistake that is done by students and it was evident in the poll also because everyone has chosen 90 plus theta because byti kanapadutundi endante x axis tho direct ga chese angle anta okay so this happens this mistake happens because uh, we define angles between the vectors the vectors madhya angles annavi our definition annadi it is defined in a such a way that the vectors are going out from uh, that point edo ee two vectors join avutunappudu aa particular point nunchi rendu bayitku velthunattuga undali ante gaani oka global ga vastunattuga oka bayitku velthunattuga unte that means you are not, you have not properly set the directions for the angles okay then uh, you get your cos inverse of that angle as a mistake tappa angle vastadu anamata so so keeping that in mind so x axis ikkada undu anukunna అదే ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ ఇక్కడ ఉంది అనుకున్న ఒకటే నన్ను యూ కెన్ డ్రా అన్ యారో లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ ఐ కెన్ సే దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ ఏ లేదు సార్ ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ అంటే పైన ఉంది అంటే నో దిస్ ఇస్ దిస్ దిస్ కంప్లీట్ లైన్ ఇస్ ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ సో యూ కెన్ థింక్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ ఆర్ యూ కెన్ రీడ్రా దట్ ఎక్స్ యాక్సిస్ హియర్ ఆల్సో సో నవ్ యూ కెన్ సీ దట్ ఎ వెక్టర్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ అండ్ ఎ వెక్టర్ ఈ గోయింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ సో ఎట్ దిస్ పాయింట్ రెండు వెక్టర్స్ వెన్ క్లోజ్ అవుతున్నాయి కాబట్టి దే జాయినింగ్ నవ్ యూ కెన్ డిఫైన్ దిస్ యాజ్ యువర్ యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ ద వెక్టర్స్ విచ్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ నైంటీ మైనస్ theta i is your angle with the x axis so coming that so 90 minus theta i is the angle with the x axis now angle with the y axis so ikkada confusion undu kuda ani i didn't uh, make any confusions in the answers also everywhere you can see i had put 90 because i don't want to confuse you in that also so y axis and it is perpendicular to your paper okay so e screen ki perpendicular ga undu kabatti obviously the vectors are in this vectors anni nen draw chesina ee vectors anni x y x z plane lo unnai or they are inside this mobile screen or this laptop screen which you are seeing but the y axis is perpendicular to your laptop then it is always perpendicular to this vector also k bar vector so what is the angle between these two vectors and it is definitely equal to 90 degrees 
because the y axis is perpendicular to this ki vector also because it is perpendicular to x and z plane i hope that clears out and the next part is what is the angle with z axis okay and here also i think the probably the common mistake that was done was idi z axis kin teeskunnaru idi z axis anukunnaru and idu gond idi vector kabatti ee majjalo unna angle ni you defined it as 180 minus theta an anukuni idu anukunnaru but this is wrong enduku wrong because you can see the angle should not be defined in such a way that you can see the both vectors are not either pointing towards each other and the tail and head are attaching here atla undukodu either the tails are colliding or the heads are colliding so ante endante instead of taking this as my z axis i can take this line as my z axis also idi z axis avutadi adi z axis ayinappudu this angle becomes your actual angle between the two vectors so what is the angle made with the z axis ante z axis tho chese angle is nothing but theta i it is not 180 minus theta i so it is theta i so your answer is a okay so i can see that most of them have went to option c because you lack the definition of uh, angles so angles ela teeskuntaru annadi mostly chepparu okay enta confuse avaru cheyaru okay but enta confuse ayinappude you understand the concept better okay oka concept ardham kavalante ilanti confusing problems solve cheyal so that is what i'll do so i'll give you another confusing problem so from here i can i think you can do it so can you tell me what is angle of kr bar vector now with x axis y axis and z axis just to see how interested you are then malli none of the above pettan ikkada now you can post your answers in the comments i will not be posting a google form but uh, just post your answers in the comments and of course a b c option cheppandi anna b a c c okay kontha mandi c an cheptunnaru uh yeah i see that most of them are going with c hmm hmm all right so ఈ సార్ కూడా నన్ ఆఫ్ ద అబో పెట్టాను ఎవరికైనా నచ్చినాయి ఉంటే పెట్టండి ఎవరు పెట్టట్లేదు నన్ ఆఫ్ ద అబో ఐ థింక్ తెలిసిపోయినట్టు ఉంది సార్ నన్ ఆఫ్ ద అబో ఇప్పుడు కూడా ఓకే సో యు వెంట్ విత్ ఆప్షన్ సి లెట్ ఎస్ సి వెదర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ రైట్ ఆర్ నాట్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ యాంగిల్ విత్ ద ఎక్స్ యాక్సెస్ దట్ వాజ్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఐ వాజ్ ఆస్కింగ్ సో యూ కెన్ సి ద వెక్టర్ ఇస్ యాక్చువల్లీ గోయింగ్ అవుట్ లైక్ దిస్ సో వెన్ యూ కన్సిడర్ ద ఎక్స్ యాక్సెస్ యూ 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 హ్యావ్ టు కన్సిడర్ దిస్ దిస్ వన్ okay you should not consider this one as your x axis because you can see at this point both id lopal ga vastundi id bayatiki velthunattu ga undi but whereas if you consider this as your x axis uh, you can see both vectors are going out and this angle will be nothing but 90 minus uh, theta i and of course uh, with the y axis it is again 90 because y axis is perpendicular now with the z axis okay so z axis ekkada undi ante you have to take this as your z axis now ఇది జెడ్ యాక్సిస్ ఎందుకు తీసుకున్నానంటే బికాస్ ఐ నీడ్ ఎ వెక్టర్ విచ్ ఇస్ గోయింగ్ అవుట్ టు మెజర్ ద యాంగిల్ సో ఐ నీడ్ దిస్ యాంగిల్ సో దిస్ యాంగిల్ ఇస్ వన్ ఎయిటీ మైనస్ తీటా ఐ సో ద ఆన్సర్ ఇస్ సి సో ఐ థింక్ యు ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఇన్ టు పిక్చర్ సో ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఐ జస్ట్ వాంట్ టు పుట్ యూ వన్స్ అగేన్ టు ద సేమ్ థింగ్ టెల్ మీ దిస్ లాస్ట్ వన్ ఆల్సో ఏబిసిలో వాట్ ఈస్ యువర్ ఆన్సర్ ద మీన్స్ ఐ నీడ్ ద యాంగిల్ విత్ ద వెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ కేటి yes so i can see in comments uh, yep most of them are going with here yep right so i i guess you got an idea right now so with the z axis you are making an angle theta t and y axis it is 90 degrees and with the x axis is what it matters so x axis the this connected out because it's a vector which is going out you need to take a vector which is also going out so that answer is 90 minus theta t so id endukante this kind of and uh, x axis y axis z axis tho chese angles enduku sir manaku ekkada nu upayogapadutada ante yeah it will be useful in the next question okay so here is the next question okay probably i'll make it the last question for today also i think we took a lot of time also so so here i have given the magnitude of this vector 
ఈ వెక్టర్ మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ ఎంతో ఇచ్చాను ద మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ ఆఫ్ ద వెక్టర్ ఇస్ బీటా సో నౌ ఐఎమ్ ఆస్కింగ్ యూ టు రైట్ ద వెక్టర్ అండ్ హియర్ ఆర్ ఇస్ యువర్ ఆప్షన్స్ ఓకే సో మీకు ఆప్షన్స్ ఇచ్చాను సో ఐ విల్ నాట్ బి పుడింగ్ ఎనీ గూగుల్ ఫామ్ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ సో మచ్ హలో ఓకే నాకు కానీ సో ఫ్యూ పీపుల్ ఆర్ సేయింగ్ ఇట్స్ బోత్ బి అండ్ సి ఆర్ సంథింగ్ రైట్ సో యా ఫ్యూ పీపుల్ ఆర్ ఆన్లైన్ సో సో చూద్దాం కామెంట్స్లో ఏమైనా ఆప్షన్స్ టైప్ చేస్తున్నారా సో దే ఆర్ సేయింగ్ ఇట్స్ బి బి Yeah, most of them are going with B. Right. So, probably end in day, make vectors in a decompose it in the LCA, but you might have decomposed it like this because it's a vector which is like this. It will have two components. Uh, so, it should have a positive X component and a positive Y component. So, if you have the answers, uh, there are, uh, I think, three answers which, have, which satisfy that thing. Okay. సో ఇది ఇది కాదు ఎందుకంటే సి ఆప్షన్లో నెగిటివ్ కాంపనెంట్ వచ్చింది కాబట్టి డెఫినెట్గా అది ఆన్సర్ కాదు అయితే మిగతా ఆప్షన్స్లో అన్ని ఆప్షన్స్లోని వైకి జీరో కాంపనెంట్ ఉంది ఎందుకు జీరో కాంపనెంట్ ఉంది అంటే బికాస్ ద వెక్టర్ ఇస్ బేసిక్లీ ఇన్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ ప్లేన్ సో యూ విల్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ వై కాంపనెంట్ అండ్ ఓన్లీ థింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ లెఫ్ట్ ఈజ్ ఒకదానికి ఎక్కడో కాస్ట్ తీటా ఉంది ఇంకోదానికి కాస్ట్ తీటా ఉంది ఇక్కడ కాస్ట్ తీటా సైన్ తీటా ఉంది ఇక్కడ సైన్ తీటా కాస్ట్ తీటా ఉంది సో దేనికి కాస్టిట కాంపనెంట్ దేనికి సైన్ తిట కాంపనెంట్ అన్నది తెలిస్తే సరిపోతుంది యూ కెన్ డూ ఇట్ విత్ వెక్టర్ డికంపోజిషన్ బట్ ఐ విల్ యూస్ సంథింగ్ ఎ డిఫరెంట్ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ అనాలిసిస్ దట్ ఈస్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఏంటంటే వీ కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ వెక్టర్స్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ ఎనీ వెక్టర్ ఏదైనా ఒక వెక్టర్ తీసుకున్నారు అనుకోండి దట్ వెక్టర్ కెన్ ఆల్వేస్ బి డివైడెడ్ ఇన్ టు త్రీ కాంపనెంట్స్ ఆ త్రీ కాంపనెంట్స్ ఏంటి తెలియాలి అంటే యూ కెన్ టేక్ ద ప్రొజెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వెక్టర్ ఇన్ ఎక్స్వై ప్లేన్ and after that you can take the projection of that vector in x and y coordinates and you can take the projection remaining projection of it in the z coordinate system to get the components in x y and z direction so and then ante prati vector ki edana vector ga anavandi a different different directions lo unna vectors ki vaati projections batti x axis meda antundi y axis meda antundi z axis meda antundi anadu kanukochu so ante what i am saying is say for example if i have a vector a bar okay uh what i can ask you what is the projection of vector what is the what is the projection of vector a bar along x axis x axis me the dan component ent undi ante dan projection ent undi annu kavalu ankonde how do i get the value of projection it is simply i have to take the vector and i have to take the dot product it with the ax cap okay అంతేనా ప్రొజెక్షన్ క్యాలిక్యులేట్ చేసేది ఇదేనా పద్ధతి ఇఫ్ యూ రిమెంబర్ సే ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ వెక్టర్ ఏ బార్ అండ్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఎ వెక్టర్ బి బార్ ఓకే నాకు ఏ బార్ అనే వెక్టర్ బి బార్ అనే వెక్టర్ మీద ఎంత ప్రొజెక్ట్ చేస్తుందో తెలియాలనుకోండి హౌ డూ ఐ క్యాలిక్యులేటెడ్ ఎలా వస్తుంది అది ఏ బార్ డాట్ బి బార్ అంతేనా ఇంకేమన్నా ఉందా డివైడెడ్ బై మాడ్యులర్స్ ఆఫ్ బి బార్ వస్తుంది అన్న ఓకే ఎందుకంటే సో ఇఫ్ ద యాంగిల్ బిట్వీన్ ద మిస్ తీటా ద మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బార్ వెక్టర్ ఇస్ మ్యాగ్ అది మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బార్ అనుకోండి ఇక్కడ ప్రొజెక్ట్ అయ్యే కాంపనెంట్ ఈజ్ మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బార్ ఆఫ్ కాస్ ఆఫ్ తీటా అంతే కదా సో సో మ్యాగ్నిట్యూడ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బార్ కాస్ తీటా ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఏ బార్ బి బార్ డివైడెడ్ బై మాడ్యులర్స్ ఆఫ్ బి బార్ అంతేనా బికాస్ ఏ బార్ డాట్ బి బార్ డెఫినేషన్ ఏంటి మాడ్యులర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఏ బార్ మాడ్యులర్స్ ఆఫ్ బి బార్ cos of theta divided by modulus of v bar jeste you get this answer so ante i can say projection so the nen write you a bar dot product of b bar divided by modulus of v bar that is nothing but a bar dot producted with a unit vector in v bar direction okay so if you ask me what is what is the projection 
So what is the projection of A bar along B bar? Then the answer is like this. So in the same way, I'm asking you what is the projection of A bar along X axis? So under NGL, A bar dot projected with unit vector in the direction this curve. Okay. So if you ask me what is the projection of uh, A bar along Y direction, then it is A bar dot A Y cap. And that's it. So if you ask me what is the projection along Z direction, that is A Z cap, right? So for example, na kya machin nante? So ikar na kya machin na na? So these are projections in each individual direction. And then the, then this kind of vector. Then this kind of vector is there. Then the vector of x direction and the projection and the y direction and the projection and the z direction and the projection and the end. So if I know these projections, then I can write a bar as simply like this: a bar dot x cap because this is the projection in x direction. Plus, if I know the projection in y direction in units, then I can write because dot product just any kind of the scalar, na na. That is nothing but the length of the projection, or it is nothing but how many units you have in y direction. So, did you understand this step? Now, last in step, are there? So, simply, in that, a vector, in that, for example, let us just count. A bar and a vector is four units in x cap direction plus five units in y cap direction plus three units in z cap direction. Okay. And the meaning, in that, no x direction, no four units, only. So, if I take a bar dot x cap, I saw a x cap on this one. Upon it, only. After that, we have to last count. No, can be solved. So, I mean, unit vectors. So if I take uh, dot projected with a x cap, now the answer is four. Okay, that's it. Okay, if you take dot projected with a y cap, what I'll get? I'll get the component along y direction. If I take dot projected with a z cap, what I'll get? I'll get three, which is nothing but the component in z direction. So under any vector a bar can be written like this. Any vector in a bar can be written like this. I think someone has a doubt. Okay, someone has posted the answer. Okay, so, so I guess you understood this convention. What I'm trying to say here. So, if put children, na na. If put, I will, I will try to simplify this one step ahead. Then, in go step, ah, mundig this kelta na. What is a bar dot projected with a x cap? A bar dot projected with a x cap is nothing but modulus of a bar and modulus of uh, a x cap into cos of Let me call this as phi x, where phi x is what angle angle made by a bar vector with x axis. And that is, and x axis to a bar vector and the angle just in the another one phi x and what? And the dot product definition. That is, dot product of two vectors is nothing but magnitude of vectors and uh, cos of angle between them. So I can say this as magnitude of a bar times of cos phi x times of a x cap plus magnitude of a bar in the same way if phi y is the angle with y axis a y cap plus magnitude of a bar cos phi z okay a z cap and the any vector any vector a bar can be written like this if you know the magnitude of the vector. And if you know the angles it make with the axis, then you can write any vector like this. So, the angles on a jordan di phi x, phi y, phi z. Do they have a special pair on the? Anyone know what they are called? Okay, they are called direction cosines. So, the cos phi x, phi y, phi z. Ni avanta avante. We call them as direction cosines. So, under these are nothing but Angles and a vector that makes angles with the and then you go a vector different. Uh, uh, if you know the magnitude of the vector and if you know the angles it make with the axis, then you can easily write the vector in this format. So I'll be using this this phenomena here. Okay. So under because I have a vector here, k i bar and k i bar and a under i l. So k i bar vector can be written as what is the magnitude of k i bar into cos phi x plus in, into a x cap plus magnitude of k i bar cos phi y into a y cap 
plus magnitude of k i bar cos phi z into a z cap. Means you might be wondering, sir, in the long procedure, and the go directly get raised, because that my components and that kind of divide just some kind of ante. Yeah, that is might be looks easier now, but you will be dealing with very complex vectors in coming uh, scenarios. Then this method actually gives you a right answer always. So that is why we follow this method. Anyways, magnitude of k ante is already chand. That is beta and this common ano. Okay. So in the previous uh, in the previous slides. Uh, we have uh, discussed what is the angle this vector that is making with x axis x axis the just angle in the end this this angle was this angle was 90 minus theta i what is the angle with y axis it was 90 degrees and what was the angle with z axis so z axis the just angle theta i am so you can see cos of 90 minus theta and it is nothing but Sin theta, that's it. And cos 90 degrees is nothing but zero. So this whole term becomes zero. So you can see finally I can write the vector as beta sin theta i times of a x cap plus zero times of a y cap plus beta cos theta times of a z cap. So that gives you your answer as b. Okay. So this might look like a bigger procedure, but this helps when your wave means usually this this vector is what we call as wave vector. Okay. And we see it in wave propagation, and the crane and the wave uh, is traveling only in exit plane. But usually the wave can travel in a random direction. After a wave vector, rarely and they first of all there we don't have you cannot draw the lines and you can get it. So a crane and they you can only approach the problem in this way. You know the magnitude, and what you have to know is what is the angle it is making with various axes. At the calculate case, after a wave vector, right, you can get it. So that is why I have chosen this thing because we use the same thing again when we deal with wave propagation, where the wave is reflecting and refracting and happening these kind of things. Wave propagation, lo, only deal just the same scenario, right? So on the same concept, there are many other problems uh, regarding the vectors. Maybe in the next class uh, we'll we'll discuss those topics and we'll talk about them. But I'll stop the session for today. So if if anyone has uh, any doubts they can ask now or else if you don't have any doubts you can leave the class thank you for coming